all clinging to love But even so I feel my heart and it's floating up above Your true face, such a passionate one Shows your beauty coming in a flood Welcome back, Patriots. We hope you've had a lovely two weeks mm -hmm. now. Yeah. yeah. We hope you guys had a fun April Fool's Day. I know I did. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed a couple of the pranks that we pulled on the broadcast. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Thank you so much to little Addie and Cheryl for coming in. For To Addie and Sh Adelaide. Yeah. And Cheryl for coming in. Um, it meant a lot, and we were super yeah. excited to get to see you. Yeah. You, you guys were so brave. You know, seniors are actually scared to come up here and answer all those questions. So the fact that, like, Kindergartners can go and do that. Well, you guys are just one just kindergartner, really awesome. one second grader. Oh, very, you know, very brave. Yeah. Very, very inspirational. Absolutely. Honestly. Speaking of being brave, um, this past week we had our musical showcase. A whole bunch of people got up and sang in front of a crowd. Yeah, very brave. And we're gonna take a look. Mm -hmm. really sounded like angelic. I loved listening and watching those clips of you guys. Absolutely. And speaking yeah. of angelic, we had a lot of divinity in our school these past couple weeks. Um, we had some Greek god trading cards, you know, yeah. happening in one of our eighth grade classrooms. And we're going to go take a look at what they did. It's awesome to, you know, take a look at what our 8th graders are doing in their classroom. And yeah. congratulations to the lovely Bryn Phillips and my good friend Mason Berry for winning that competition. Yeah. Um, up next, we're talking about decompressing and relaxing with one love. Um, how do you decompress on a daily basis? Just I, you know, a nice warm cup of tea, you know, a little, yeah. like, time away from my phone and just... Some nice air. Kind of, how do you decompress? Well, uh, let's see. I like I like to relax, read a little bit, like yeah. take some time for myself, you know. Um, but we're gonna see what all of your guys' answers are for all of these fun questions. How are you planning on practicing some self care over spring break? Uh, so I'm gonna be going to the Outer Banks over spring break, which means I'll have a bit more extra reading time and I'll have the opportunity to take um, walks on the beach, which is very relaxing. Yeah, so would you say that does like some emotional healing for you? Uh, I mean, maybe. I, it's honestly been a while since I've taken walks on the beach, so I don't know if there'll be any emotional healing going on, but uh, hopefully. Well, at the bare minimum, some stress release. Oh yeah, definitely. All right, thank you. One love. Planning on practicing some self-care over spring break. I plan on reading a book and making some art. And how does that help you emotionally? Um, it helps me decompress uh, and just relax. Yeah, nice to kind of step away from a stressful environment for a little bit and heal. Yeah, I'm with you, one love. You planning on practicing some self-care over spring break? Yeah. Okay, and how does that help you, like, emotionally, internally? Mm, uh, it makes me happy, I like reading books, and it also um, gives me less stress. Yeah, um, I bet it's relaxing for sure. Thank you, one love. How are you planning on practicing some self-care over spring break? Probably going to the gym more. Yeah, and so how does that help you, like, emotionally speaking? I don't know. It just kind of, like, does. Yeah, like a good outlet to relieve some stress? Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. One love. How are you planning on practicing self-care over spring break? Um, I plan on working out pretty consistently and eating healthy. And how does that help you from like an emotional standpoint? I mean, I see how that would help you physically, but... 
Um, I don't know. Movement makes me feel good, I guess. So. Yeah, it kind of gets some endorphins moving yeah. in your brain. I know what you're saying. Thank you. Yep. One love. You're welcome. It's so fun to, you know, hear how everybody's going to, you know, take a minute and breathe. Make sure that over break, you know, you spend some time alone, spend some time with friends and family, you know. Give yourself a chance yeah. to really relax from the day-to-day -day monotony that is coming to school. Yeah. Speaking of the day-to-day -day monotony that is coming to school, we have Senior Spotlight. Because we can't wait to get out of school since we're seniors. Anyway, we're going to see who we're interviewing and we'll see what questions, what their answers are to our questions. Yeah. Welcome back to Senior Spotlight. Um, we are filming this on a lovely day where we've had a lot of rain, so I apologize for my wet rat attire. Um, but here, we're here with Dylan Barnett. Super exciting. He's one of our last seniors of this year, um, our last victims and volunteers. And what are you planning on doing after high school? I plan to go up to SUNY Canton for the video game design program they have there, and I plan to be there for four years. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, what are you most excited for, you know, pre-Canton, the end of this year? Um, I'm mostly excited for the senior trip if we end up having one, but I feel like we will, most likely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, remember to fundraise, guys. Yeah. It's very important. Yes, do um, fundraise. <laughs> Do you have a favorite school memory? My favorite school memory has to be Beaver Camp. I mean, it's been a while, but that was a really great time. It was so far away. It was overnight. Yeah, it was great time. it's where all of our fundraising money went. Yes, yep. all of it. Um, <laughs> do you have any song or show recommendations for our audience? I would highly recommend. It's a bit of an older one, but it's The Knight Rider. It's from the 1980s. has David Hasselhoff. Go to Action Pack series to watch. I love, I love. And do you have any um, advice or shout outs? I would recommend just get your homework done. I know this from first first person experience, mm -hmm. I would write just say, just get it done out of the way. It's not going to take that long as you think it will. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any shout outs? Um, shout out to Ruby Young. I'm glad I met you. Yeah. And that's about it. She's a sweetheart. Um, thank you so much for coming, Dylan. All right. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for having me on here. Thank you guys so much for coming in. It's always awesome to see our seniors, especially now when we have only a few more months left. Yeah. Yeah. Um, speaking of seniors and growing up and all that we have who's that baby up next uh, our, favorite segment. our favorite segment this brave capricorn speaks five languages and has naturally curly hair This indecisive Libra is not afraid to speak her mind and makes most of her decisions with a coin toss. A rare find, this kind Virgo works at the tech department in Walmart and is currently creating a video game. What adorable babies all around. Really cute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Me. No big deal. Yeah. You know? <laughs> um, and <laughs> I think I was a cute kid. I'm pretty I'm pretty fond of that photo of me. I you know what? It was pretty cute. I, I have to say. Um as we wrap up, right before break, we have our, our environmental club has a message yeah. for us. And we also have some Earth Day facts brought to you by the Tale. Our Canva master, a queen, a Our fashion icon. Amazing co-host. Oh, yeah. What's up guys? It's Delaney and I'm back this week. Unfortunately not as a host. I'm still getting there. But I'm just going to be talking about Earth Day today because Earth Day is actually coming up this month on April 22nd and over a billion people participate in Earth Day every single year. Um, Earth Day was actually inspired by Vietnam War protesters and it was established by Wisconsin Senator Gaylord Nelson who saw Vietnam War protesters and decided to recognize the day as International Earth Day. Um, the very first Earth Day sparked an environmental movement that led to the creation of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration and the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. Um, Earth Day is very important and some fun little facts for y'all. Um, 
other countries recognize it as International Mother Earth Day because that was the name it was initially given by the United Nations. The average carbon footprint for one person in the United States is 16 tons per year. Do better. Um, and on Earth Day in 2012, more than 100,000 people rode bikes in China to reduce CO2 emissions and save fuel. And I think that people in the United States should, we should try to do that too. Um, if you want to participate in Earth Day this year, which you should, if you don't, then something is wrong with you. Um, you can plant a tree, go on a walk, ride a bike instead of, you know, riding in a car, maybe carpool with someone, um, turn off your lights, save electricity, all that jazz, save water. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, tell your plants that you love them and have a good Earth Day, everyone. <laughs> Hi, I'm Olivia Derwin, co-president of the Environmental Club. And I'm Trinity Bisport, the other co-president of Environmental Club. Our goal of the Environmental Club is to make a brighter and cleaner environment within our community and our school. Currently, we are planning on having a local hike and Earth Day cleanup for April 22nd, which is Earth Day. If you're interested in that, please look out for the announcements next week after break and the parents grow email that will be sent out. It's always lovely to hear from our environmental club, talk a little bit about our planet, especially with the lovely Delaney Tam. Yeah, and we have heard your guys' suggestions saying that Kenny and Delaney should come back and host. And we have a suggestion box for you guys. It's called the trash, because we don't care. So, that's all we have for you this week, actually. Mm -hmm. um, please feel free to use our suggestion box. You can find it in Ms. Montrose's classroom, yeah. in most of the classrooms. Yeah. You know what I mean? All classrooms. Anyway, uh, we hope you guys have a great break, and we'll see you in two weeks. All right, bye.